Hiring sailors, and I'll pay more than you've ever made. I pay drachmi to anyone who'll sail for it. Navas at my ship. He'll be expecting me. There is a better life for you than this. Join my crew and let me show you. Kingdom of Agamemnon and Perseus. I need to be on my guard. Come on. Ella. Ella.
That's Hippocrates' clinic. Come on. himself should fight your precious Hippocrates. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way! Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. Now what's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? It's just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. Ah! <sighs> 
So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. <laughs> you must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Alexios of Sparta. What did you come here for, Alexios of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... you know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes. Yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Where should I look for your notes? Fort Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them, if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffer terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago, with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Come on! Hold up! I need to talk to him.
sanctuary of Asclepius, god of medicine. I'd rather trust a physician than a god, you feel me? There he is. He's over there. Creatures, I can't work under these conditions. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours sit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries, especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like me, Don. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Did she? Tell me about the woman and her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no! There is already a corpse in there. What are you talking about? Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere! must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. This snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. The Rios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to bits. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water, and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios! He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like... Kisses from the gods. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. Okay. I can either kill them one by one, or flood them with cold water. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. Huh? <laughs> 
friend. Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance. Well? Well what? Uh, I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Miven, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> My lucky snakes. <sighs> At least I got a name. Midon. <laughs> Anything a mercenary can do for you today, healer. Ah, the Mystios sent by Zeus. They say you've been working for the good doctor Hippocrates. I came to Argolis to meet him, actually. Hasn't everyone? I can't complain, though. Ever since he came to Argolis, my business has been booming. It's great, but I can't keep up with the demand for my herbs. Think you could help me? I could be of some help. You are much kinder than Hippocrates' assistant Sostratos made you out to be. Helen, the village midwife, is in need of this herb delivery. And you'll pay me to deliver it to her? That's right. You can count on me. The gods sent you my way for a reason. We're done here. <gasps> This is very troubling. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here. Towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and will offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people, but I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? 
Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. I'll find this bull for you. Here, a friend. Anything a mercenary can do for you? You won't hold on to your Thrachmi for long around here, Mistios. Thieves take everything. You should be smart like me. I keep my last coin under my tongue. But they still managed to find it. So you want me to give you some Thrachmi? By Zeus, you'd do that for me? Here, take this. Am I too late? <laughs> this area will be well defended. Like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. You'll have to do. <sighs> Not the best feeling. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bowl, they can come get it themselves. I 
won't even Ella. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly. And with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arulis. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this! <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios. But it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, 
before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. <sighs> Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them.